Hola guys, como estas? Um, hope everything is going well for you and your loved ones. I am done with my daytime job. I am whew, tired. Um, <laughs> can you see that I'm tired? But but yeah, it's 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 been a, a productive day, a busy day to say the least. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to chat real quick. Um, I hope you guys saw my last recipe, the recipe I posted, okra soup. It is delicious, delicious, delicious. So try try out the recipe and let me know how it works for you. Um, I tried it and like I couldn't help myself. I just, in fact, the next day I just took some soup and I licked it. I ate, I didn't eat it with anything else. I was just having the soup alone. So let me know, let me know how it works for you. Let me know. And if you have questions, um, if you need alternative suggestions to, you know, some of the ingredients I use, let me know as well. There's always an alternative, believe me. Um, I've improvised so many times with so many dishes. You know, especially on uh, the Nigerian dish or the Nigerian, um, a typical Nigerian dish. I, I've improvised so many times. Um, so yeah, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Comments, questions, you name it. Um, I'll try to get back to you. Um, so yeah, it's been a lovely day. I'm thinking um, my next recipe will be jollof rice. Jollof rice. Mm, jollof rice is so good. You know, it's 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 the red rice cooked with um, tomatoes and pepper and onions and you know spices and oh and there's so many. There's a technique to jollof rice. You can cook it and it won't taste good at all. You can cook it and it will be burnt. You can cook it and it will be um, too see over seasoned. You can cook it and to just be right. So it's, it all depends on your palate. Like I've always been saying, it depends on your palate, whatever works for you. Um, JB Oliver, some time ago, prepared jollof rice. And he got this big backlash from a lot of, not just Nigerians, Africans in general. Because Ghanaians, Ghanaians also, they have their own version of jollof rice. So he got this big backlash people said oh my gosh he has messed up the recipe he has i mean i was surprised when i saw it um and i wondered well it's your own interpretation of jollof rice he he made it according to how he interpreted the recipe to be um and if it tasted good to him fine yes there is a standard way but hey if you look at the original recipe of jollof rice, the original recipe, like back in the day, like years and years, years and years ago, um, not that long ago, back then when people are having a party, birthday parties, weddings, anniversaries, baby showers, uh, they typically call a certain group of women um, and they're called the Agoi women. Are going um, I remember back then when I was younger um, or way 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 when I was a little little girl um, the women would come over you would hire their services they would come and just like the wind that blows through forest they would just come cook cook up a storm and they're done they'll clean up everywhere will be sparkling clean because that's that was that's their occupation they come in they cook and they have a certain flavor to their meals be it the jollof rice the moi moi the fish the goat meat or the regular beef um pepper soup soups different soups you know they had their own style unique style to cooking and they'll tell you when you hire them they'll tell you these are the things we need and if you don't particularly have those things, they can improvise. But still, their meals had a certain flavor that everyone knew as the party food, the party agoyin flavor. If you taste 10 plates of rice and one was cooked by an agoyin woman, 
you can spot that hands down you can tell that this is from an ongoing woman so we always called it party rice that's the original jollof rice it had this smoky burnt flavor um buttery flavor that you're used to um for parties you go to parties and you can tell that oh my gosh this was prepared by the ongoing women um not like nowadays where you know the because people's palate has changed over the time you now have carrots and peas and jollof rice you have you know um pieces of plantains um otherwise called dodo fried plantains cut up in bits you have um smoked turkey like i sometimes add to my <laughs> jollof rice you have boiled egg chunks of tomatoes sticking out of your rice um onions and this is totally different from the original original recipe um so i don't know why people gave jamie oliver a hard time because jollof rice has evolved over time it really has honestly so yeah i am going to prepare mine my way it will still have that smoky flavor of jollof rice what what you can go wrong with jollof rice that smoky and red look and the red look is definitely how much um, tomatoes you put in, tomatoes and pepper paste you put in your jollof rice. And when you add it, how you incorporate it for the rice to absorb that color. Because some people you can put so much tomato sauce um, and your rice will still come out looking yellowish white and not that orange rich um, color. So yeah. Let's see if shall, we'll, we'll see we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna have it with um, baked chicken, um, with a side of salad, maybe garden salad. I'll think of something from my garden. I don't want to buy um, any ingredient from the grocery stores this time for salad. So I'm gonna try and incorporate bell peppers. I have a lot of peppers in my garden, <laughs> way too much. I have uh, eggplant zucchini just some weird assorted stuff in my garden from my garden so let me see how you know creative i can get with the things i find in my garden um what else so i'm going to make that and uh looking forward to that and looking forward to chit chatting with you guys when i'm making my jollof fries i'll try to make it earlier in the day and not um, towards evening time like i did with the okra soup um, just so that you know there's more time to edit and upload uh, so you get it the same day so yeah that that I'm looking forward to so guys till next time